Good day once again. This is Maestro Sani para sa lesson 8 ng Science Grade 6, Quarter 2. Tropical Rainforests, Coral Reefs, and Mangrove Swamps. Para sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel, please do subscribe. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Have you been ever to a swamp or grassland or beach, a reef or mangrove? What kind of plants can you find there? What kinds of animals live in there? Let us try to explore and discover the marvels of science through this module. Allow us to show you the amazing way scientists work with ideas. As you will move through this module, you will find engaging questions about the interactions among living things and non-living things or the biotic and the abiotic organisms. We encourage you to find ways to answer this question by providing varied activities. We expect that through this module or through this video lesson, you will become more self-seeking in science and make your learning meaningful. The organisms that thrive in one place depend on their environment. They form relationship with other organisms and with the non-living things in their habitat in order to survive. Together, they form an ecosystem. Scientists known as ecologists study this relationship in order to know each other organism and ecosystem as a whole. So as we go through this lesson, we should be able to know what are the components of an ecosystem and what are the important roles and relationship between organism in each ecosystem. So we have the tropical rainforest. When we say tropical rainforests, these are woodlands composed mostly of all tall trees and extensive foliage cover. They are regions with year-round warmth and abundant rainfall and occupy 6 to 7 percent of the Earth's surface. They produce a large percentage of the needed oxygen on Earth. Rainforests are also estimated to house more than half of the world's plants and animal species. Most of them is still undiscovered. Rainforests grow in four major layers. First, the canopy or the top layer. Next, the subcanopy, which is the layer of trees below the canopy. And the understory which is the shady lower and the floor forest. More than 70% of the organism in the forest live in the canopy and the sub canopy. The shady understory mostly has small palms, young trees and non-woody plants. The floor of the forest has thin layer of fallen leaves and branches as well as scattered seeds and fruits that some animals gather and eat. Several varieties of fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals abound in the rainforest and its rivers. However, insects are the most populous among the animals, sometimes with about 40 kinds of ants in just one tree or 1,200 kinds of beetles in just 19 individual in a three crowns. A study has shown that there are possibly over 30 million insects dwelling in the canopies of the tropical rain forest. So, ganun po kadaming insects ang makikita sa tropical rain forest. Some are undiscovered o hindi pa na nadidiscover ng kahit na sinong individual. Because of great diversity of life in them, rainforests are ranked as the most complex on land. 
The Philippines used to have about 70% of its rainforest 100 years ago. Yan, mga unang panahon, marami po sa Pilipinas. But presently, only less than 8% of the country's rainforests are untouched by deforestation and urbanization. So, less than 8% from that 70%, 8% na lang po ang untouched or hindi pa na de deforestation. If deforestation does not stop, there might be no more rainforest in the Philippines after 15 years. So, nanganganib mawala ang rainforest sa Pilipinas pag hindi po inistop ang deforestation. Mining. Yun. Yun yung mga sumisira sa ating mga kagubatan sa Pilipinas. Next, we have coral reefs. Saan naman ito makikita? Coral reefs are also one of the most biologically diverse ecosystem on earth and are called the rainforest of the sea. They are mostly found in shallow tropical seas. Coral reefs are made up of limestone which is secreted by corals and deposited in a period of thousands to millions of years. They can be of three types. Fringing reefs, barrier reefs, and atolls. Fringing reefs are underwater stand of living coral animals that grow fairly close to the shore. Barrier reefs occurs further offshore and are separated from the shoreline by channel called lagoons. Atolls or atolls are roughly circular reefs system that surround a deep or large lagoon. Coral reefs are formed when coral polyps from their limestone skeleton by absorbing calcium from the sea water. Reefs are not only made of hard and soft coral but also sponge, crustaceans, jellyfishes, sea animals, mollusks, sea turtles, reef sharks, dolphins, various fishes, and much more. They provide homes for marine animals which make marine food chains active and continuous. Because of its great diversity, Competition may arise among the organisms in the coral reefs as they complete over food and space. Since they are dependent and interrelated to each other, variations in one species can severely affect the other species. Other than that, calamities like storms, volcanic eruptions, and hurricanes, as well as human activities may greatly affect the type of organisms in their relationship with the reefs. Ayan. So those are the different uh, activities that can disrupt the coral reefs. Calamities, volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, as well as human activities. Next we have mangrove swamps. Mangroves are trees that grow along the coast. They are usually found in shallow waters along the mouths of bays, lagoons, and rivers. Mangroves can tolerate salty water because their roots can filter out the salt before absorbing water into the plant. They also have the ability to store salt in their barks or old leaves and shed them periodically to get rid of the salt. Mangrove roots form breeding grounds of nur or nurseries from many, for many fishes and marine organisms. The intertwined roots protect the larvae and young animals from predators and act as home to which communities of marine invertebrates and algae. They also provide shelter to seasonal visitors like egrets and migratory birds. These birds also receive nourishment by eating shrimps and crabs and other mollusks around the mangroves. 
mangroves also stabilize the shoreline. They have stilt-like roots that catch particles of silt, dirt, and sand that build up shorelines. They also remove large quantities of inorganic nutrients and sediments to maintain quality of coastal waters. Ayan. So, nakakatulong din para may stabilize ang temperature. So, we have here learning task number one. Answer the following questions. Write your answers in your notebook. So, we have here five questions. The first one is, what is an ecosystem? What are examples of diverse ecosystem? What is a rainforest? What are the major parts of the rainforest? What are coral reefs? What, where are they found? And what are the different types of coral reefs? Think task number two, we have to fill in the blanks. You have to write your answers in a separate answer sheet. So, these are the different words in the box. If there are no mangrove forests, then the sea will have no meaning. It is having a tree with no roots, for the mangroves are the lungs. So, you have to fill in the blanks. Then you have learning task number three. Complete the chart by copying this in your answer sheet. So you have to give the brief description of the different words. We have the rainforest layer and the deep types of coral reefs. And what I have learned from this, so a tropical rainforest is a rain is a forest with a high rainfall that grows in a tropical region. And therefore, tropical rainforests are found near the equator, an imaginary line that circles the globe dividing the northern and the southern hemisphere. On the other hand, coral reef is an underwater ecosystem characterized by reef building corals. Reefs are formed of colonies of coral polyps held together by calcium carbonate. Most coral reefs are built from stony corals whose polyps cluster in groups. Mangrove is a shrub or a small tree that grows in coastal saline or brackish water. The term is also used for tropical coastal vegetation consisting of such species. Mangroves occur worldwide in the tropics and subtropics, mainly between latitude 25 degrees north and 25 degrees south. Then we have the assessment. Answer the following question in your answer sheet. What are the living and non-living in a tropical rainforest, coral reefs, and in mangrove swamps. And explain the interaction among living things in a tropical rainforest, coral reefs, and mangroves. Okay, so this part the key for learning task number one. And for learning number two, Test number three and four. So for this, I have to say thank you, and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel.